welcome back, guys. For you guys that are joining us new, uh, my name is Cody. Uh, Wrangler Star is my YouTube channel page, and we're uh, working on a timber frame cabin project. It's going to be for our off-grid homestead uh, project. So lots of projects around here. So uh, as you saw from the last video, we finished up the sill boards and and the floor joists and all that. So we're working on. Well, I'll show you what we're working on. A bird's eye view here. Here's our bottom floor. Here's our top floor. Here's the 16-foot uh, side, here's the 12-foot side, 12-12 pitch roof. And uh, so this is all complete right here. So now what I'm working on are actually the, uh, the top plates up here. So we got two 16s and two 12s. And then we've got a summer that runs to the middle that I haven't cut that yet. And then the upper, upstairs floor joists. So over here, you can see that I've got... 116 and 112 newly milled and I started work on this the other night got my uh, 10 in here cut for the 16 and and so I've still got to square this and we'll uh, get to work on these two. So my collection of timber framing tools is slowly expanding I got a few new things since the last time uh, I showed you guys shared with you one thing I found that's, that's uh, I'm pretty excited about is this uh, it's really old two inch auger bit and this will be really nice in drilling out helping to drill out uh, mortises because of the, of the width they actually don't make them this this big anymore or if they do I wasn't able to find them and I searched high and low it, it took me months on eBay to come up finally this one popped up and I I got it for 20 bucks and I'll have it I'll get this thing sharpened up but this is a really a good find I'm happy about that I got uh, also got these on eBay I got this whole the whole group of them plus three more which were duplicate sizes that I'm not showing here and I got all these for um, I think ship that was under thirty dollars uh, so that was a really good deal because these are pretty expensive I mean you're gonna pay for one of these by themselves uh, probably around sixty dollars for so that that was great um, I'm really here's a tool that I'm really stoked about I had uh, I actually bought this from my neighbor Henry he's in he's a about 90 now and is an original homesteader from this area and this belonged to his father. His father was actually a, a tim timber framer of sort or was quite a carpenter I guess in his day and it's got the original handle on it and this is actually called a, a slick and it's three and a half inches wide. The, the blade on it was not in, in really good shape so I actually took it to a, I found a guy in Portland that reprofiled this for me and just put a killer edge on it. It's just wickedly sharp and man what a useful tool this is this has really been great I'll use that today I'll show you for uh, cleaning out uh, just smoothing everything out it's actually works like a plane it just shaves wood off and I'm really excited about that that works good um, I got uh, I also got these off of eBay these two Milwaukee drill bits these are inch and a half and these are old timers too look at the look at the box on them they got the old metal corners on there. This is back when they really when they just spared no expense and, and did a nice job. You can see it's got a double bit on it. And these were actually brand new. This one here had the had the rubber coating on it. Both of them did. And it's been sitting around in someone's garage for a long time and I got both of these for twenty bucks. And those are really nice bits. So excited about that. I got a, a plane, I think I showed you the number four plane draw knife so it's a it's a pretty meager collection but it's it's getting better all the time and and I buy things as I need them and it's a bit pretty pretty amazing though I mean really with the tools that I'm showing right here in addition to my my handsaw and combination level square over there but you know you can you can practically do this whole project with these tools and less and you wouldn't even need uh, everything here but uh, it's it's pretty cool because I you know, I've been working all this stuff and building all of these uh, everything I've built so far and I just haven't really needed to drag anything else out. It, everything seems to be uh, I have enough here to to get by. So that's the tool upgrade and let's get started on the work.
Well, that's one plate down <clears throat> and three to go. You can see right here, this last pocket is right here. And we have the, uh, the three there on the top. Got the tenons on both ends. And it turned out pretty good. It's the first time I've used this tool, the slick. And uh, wow, what an awesome tool that is for timber framing. I, I've heard, I've read a lot about them that they were great for, for uh, this type of work, and, and it was uh, exceeded my expectations. So there's number three, and that's it. So uh, I'll get to work on the twelve.